your story with mild persistent acne? It just, you know, gets worse. I, I think it's with my hormones. I think, you know, once a month, the week before my period, my face just breaks out. But usually I feel like I have really great skin otherwise. But then I, I spend like a week with a breakout and then a week recovering from the breakout. And then I have two weeks again of, of good skin. So it's really frustrating. Okay. Have you ever had months, six months, without this, this process cycling through? No. No? No. Okay. Did you think that, when you think of acne treatment, did you think that, well, since it's hormonal, there's no quote, cure for it, I just have to deal with it and try to deal with it quicker? Yeah, I guess I I just put like clear cell on that week, but then my face gets all dry and it's just like, ugh, it's not good either. Gotcha. Can you even imagine having two periods in a row with zero breakouts? Is that something that you can imagine? That'd be great, yeah. <laughs> all right, that's, that's going to be our goal. <laughs> all right, here is, I'll get some really up close. This is mild persistent acne, certainly not incapacitating to your life but annoying all the same many it's people have it worse but bumpy, yeah. yeah even small stuff can drive people nuts especially when it just keeps coming regardless of how do you eat you you take care of yourself you eat well yeah i, I eat really well i work out with a trainer i uh i'm vegetarian mm -hmm. try not to eat too much junk you know what do you do for a career i'm a yoga teacher so you know about stress in the body yes Gotcha. All right, we're going to be following this up. These are the small little guys. A lot of people can relate with this and they get frustrated by it. This is the program for mild persistent. Hey, Dr. Neal. Um, this is Amber. I just wanted to, uh, I guess, give a little progress report on my skin. Um, Basically, I've been using two products. Um, I've been using a cleanser, and I really like it. I try to use it in the shower. <laughs> and then um, I'm also using um, one of the scrubs, and I really like the scrub. Um, and I guess um, I just want to give you a little update on my cheeks. Um, so this one is looking pretty good. <laughs> um, I'm going to try to get as close as possible. I was having a lot of bumps before and um, just I felt like um, with my hormones every month that I was getting breakouts but I, I really feel like I can um, control them a little bit better uh, with products. And I still have like a, a few spots happening. I have one here and um, I have like a few little spots here. But um, so far, it's nothing new is coming up. And in general, I just feel a lot better about my skin. Um, I feel like it's it's getting better, and I no longer feel like um, that it's just a, a constant thing that's there. Because I think to just the average person's eye, they, they didn't really see a lot of acne, but I kind of knew it was there, and my skin was just like a little bit always bumpy on my cheeks. And... Um, I don't really feel those bumps um, when I touch my face. Although I know I shouldn't touch my face too much. <laughs> um, so anyway, I guess that's all I want to say. And um, I guess I'll give you a little close-up. And um, I just want to say thank you. And I'm really grateful um, for these products. And um, I don't know, I, I guess I don't really feel like anything um, was really able to do the trick uh, so quickly um, as these. So here's my little close up, <laughs> and thanks. Here's one cheek. And the other one. So, thanks, and see you soon. Thank you.